Hi and welcome to NoPlan. In this video I want to show you how you can get started quickly in a couple of basics. First of all, NoPlan is oriented around calendar nodes. You have one daily node for every day in your calendar, so if you, which you can see in the top right. So if you click on a different day, you see a different calendar node. Below the calendar, you have the timeline with your events and reminders. For example, meetings and things you need to do at a specific time. In the center, you have the editor where you can add your text, your headings, checklists, bullets, and especially tasks. In the left side, you have the sidebar with the regular notes and, and folders where you can create your projects. But today we will focus on the daily notes. You can use your daily notes to plan your tasks, to give structure to your day using time blocks. You can also use it as a kind of inbox and add your ideas and thoughts and bullet points, for example. Uh, or you write your uh, journal in here or your meeting notes. NoPlan supports Markdown, so this is how you can format your text. For example, you type two pound signs and then space and you have a heading. Let's call this today's goals. And this is how I recommend you start your day, by defining your two goals, one or two goals you need to achieve for today. And if you have achieved those, the day was successful. For example, for today, let's record a video and fix a few bugs. To create tasks, you can simply type asterisk and then space and then type out the task. If you forget how to type all this or if, you don't, if you're not aware uh, of markdown, you can also hover over an empty line and then click on plus and then you see all the elements you can insert into a note. Also on the right side, you see how you can type up these elements. Okay, after today, defining today's goals, let's give our day a, a bit of structure. Let's say we want to have a couple of time blocks. And for this I use checklists because checklists are not really tasks and also they don't count towards your overdues or open tasks. And for checklists you can type up a uh, type plus and then space. And let's begin the day with a uh, reply to emails. This is for example something I do almost every day and but I don't really want to create a task for this. However, I want to see uh, this as a block in my timeline so I, I have some structure for my day and I know when I can or should stop doing this task. So after replying to emails, we want to write the script and record video. You can drag it into the timeline by hovering over the task and then you click on the drag button and then if you drop it, you will see uh, add timeline and add event. And if you don't want to see this context menu every time, you just hit command and then you drop it, which I have done before to for reply to emails. And then let's drag this up to the team meeting. And here is where it becomes, where the timeline becomes useful. You see your events so you can plan around them. And after the team meeting, let's have some lunch. Let's drop it here. This will take an hour. After the lunch, we can start with fix bugs and implement other improvements. And this will take some time up to the reminder here to pick up a new camera. You don't have to limit yourself to uh, your work tasks. You can also include your private tasks in here in your private life in general. So for example, dinner and gym. Let's have dinner at 6 p.m. and gym right after this. And then we have a call with Antonio. Okay, and besides defining your goals and your, ch and your time blocks as checklists in this case, we can also define a couple of tasks for this project. Task one, task two, and let's say task three with some subtasks. You can type subtasks by hitting tab and then you have a subtask for task three in this case or some more tasks. You can use it also to add, for example, ideas. Um, so your daily note becomes something like an inbox, but the advantage is your items which you add to this inbox won't pile up over time because they stay contained in this day. And at the end of the day, uh, let's say you finished all the time blocks and the tasks, but maybe not quite. Do this, do that. So I fixed a couple of bugs, but I didn't finish all of them. So this goal was not quite achieved. 
Um, so I have this task left and what I do at the end of the day, and there's a bit of friction built into the app, which um, helps you to prioritize and define which tasks are still important and which are not. Maybe you have added a couple of things because you had ideas which uh, that they might be important, but the next day you realize they aren't. So you copy or you cut forward only the tasks which are still relevant for you. For example, fix this bug. Then you go back to uh, yesterday and then you can review the task. Let's say we finish these two and these are still open, but we decide, okay, task three with its subtasks, it's not that important. So we don't cut it or copy it forward to the next day. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And one more thing, if you want to have this emoji before your time blocks, you can go to the settings, to do, and add the emoji into the text must contain box.